Hi, I'm Calvin and I make the Pie Grow. It's uh, quite a simple device. Basically inside it's just this. It's a uh, Raspberry Pi and that's a relay board there. And we connect that to uh, plug sockets which we can then use to control devices such as heaters, humidifiers, lamps, um, dehumidifiers, fans. So this one's for uh, that air intake and air outtake fans, you can control all of those either depending on the sensor values when the humidity, temperature or other sensor reaches a certain point or with uh, timed events whenever you choose. You can also use the PyGrow with a uh, simple webcam like this one, fairly inexpensive and set that to take periodic photos which can then be converted into a time-lapse video allowing you to see your plants as they grow, stretch out, move, demonstrate with the various tropisms. So here we've got the GUI which allows you to connect to it. Nice and simple interface. So it connects there. Tells us everything's working. We can set up the Pi Grow, the uh, Raspberry Pi portion of the Pi Grow. Here we can see what camera we're using, check which space we've got, all sorts of functions we can choose which devices we're linking to the relay. We can check our DHT sensor and read the current temperature with it. We can set up the timing of all the jobs and uh, other scripts. We can download all the files nice and simply onto our um, computer. All the photos, all the graphs, concrete files, if you want to um, keep them safe. And we can also graph the temperature, the soil, um, moisture, or any of the other things that uh, we've got graphing scripts for. Nice and simple. Just click the Make Graph button, and that will make us a graph, which we can then just download straight to our computer very simply or if we want something a bit more uh, interesting we can take those graphs like these ones and uh, upload them straight onto the um, reddit wiki um, reddit wiki the graph here of the, um, the color values of the photos taken so we can see here how stable our image is um, see here which colours are coming through, if it's changing a lot, it's, you know, some useful things we can tell with this. Self log of the, um, the pie here, telling us its disk usage and uh, all sorts of useful things. File size of the uh, photos we're taking, again very useful, very good as well as we can see the higher ones, the lower ones, the lower ones when it's dark and there's less information, the higher ones obviously. You can see them uh, a bit jagged there, that's because we've got a, um, a lot of light and dark variations because this camera is actually outside rather than in the grow box. We've got, this is testing the um, soil sensors there I showed you earlier. CPU temperature, time difference between images, which is useful to see if we're dropping images. Um, all sorts of graphs you can do, memory use, uh, pixel value again. So. It gives you as much possible information on what's happening with the pie grow and in your grow space. It allows you to control your grow space to visualise it and hopefully with the creation of ever more tools and scripts it will give you more control and more ability to understand what's happening with your plants.